this is about you, all of you, human beings, everyone out there. Uh, the way life is now today, and it's obvious, people want the modern space age life. Fine. Yeah, you can have a modern space age, but at what cost? Who's going to be around to be part of it? But there are blockages as a human race is the handling of human beings there's excuses everywhere the economy currency businesses politics rich control religion the industrial age you have a system of invention but you don't have a system of it doesn't fit in what's going to happen to it when it's not being used anymore it's all deliberate it's all been known ahead of time where are you going to build these modern cities you have to knock what's there they have to be sustainable cities. You can, you will not live in a space age. You want electric cars. Oh, you've made them. But they need coal to work the factories. I thought, we're getting rid of coal. We want clean energy. Well, clean energy doesn't support steel manufacturing. How are you going to make these structures? And equations and um, the science behind it, they've got it. They know it. If you think that for one second these intelligent, genius scientists, inventor uh, minds, but they can't have for one thought think, oh, wait on, what about this, what about that? They think of every single little detail. It's all being thought of. People that are doing things and care for stuff, we're in their way. You'll never get into that age because of these blockages. And there's many of them, and they're big, and they're complex. How are you going to get rid of even one of them? You can, but you won't, because of the way you want your life to be today. Construction. That's this. See that dot? That's that. Put it all together, what Earth has, rather than all of these other lines and amazing. Why? In benefit only of the few, and everyone else. What you've got, compared to what you could have, should have, is crumbs. If you've got it, if I have to talk into bank, because I know some of you are going to, let's say this is the line, this is the profit, you know, it's okay, you know, you can you can go like this depending on who, what position, but it's not like that, it's like this. It's economical abuse, deliberate unfairness. You could say, okay, one for me, one for you, one for the company. The economy will, is not a futuristic thing. All through history, religions have to do with money and economy. Corruption that does not allow corruption, yeah, but the way that they operate is corruptive. The councils in Australia, for example, all oh, these are our policies. They're, they're inventions. They're not. They're not real. They're made up, stupid rules. Make their own check boxes of what should be, how it should be. They tick that, and these other important things, they leave them out deliberately and say, "Oh no, that's not part of my job description." <laughs> they invent it to protect themselves so that they don't have to do what they really should be doing. But it's also about the things you didn't do, or a different type of existence. That is very possible, but not favourable. People don't, These people with all this makeup and, you know, thousand layers of surgery on their face, they don't want to live like a farmer or, or natural. <laughs> How do people treat each other? With expectational pressure. Pressure. Pressure is a big thing just on its own. If you're limiting someone and inhibiting their growth and keeping them down here as the worker, you're killing your energy. If someone wants to grow and be with you, let them. Stop competing. Start collaborating. These bodies, we're stuck in these little identities and my shape, your shape, this smell, that look, this height, this whatever language, different culture. You've got to get rid of all those things. They're good for fun. Nothing more. Anything you should attach to your body's clothes and your lover. No stranger is a stranger. But there's never enough money, but then again, when the virus was here, all of a sudden, they were throwing money left, right and center. Where did that come from? They're unaccountable. They know what they're running away from. They just won't face it. Who is going to be left is just the people that they can use. I'm here to spike is like spark, you know, activate. I'm here to activate you and remove you from the blur that's everywhere. There is no love behind these blockages and problems. It's just 
hatred and jealousy and fear. So all your senses, you've got a hundred senses out there that you don't not even, not even know about. They start to work because you're not... The experiences that you could be having are a million, billion times better than what you're having now. Just work from love. We're here to love each other. We're here to share everything that we have with each other. It comes back. It's a good thing. And it lasts. Whereas money doesn't last. Once they've used it, that's it. It's been given to you without love. A modern space age is possible, but... This is about you, all of you, human beings, everyone out there. Uh, the way life is now, today, and it's obvious, people want the modern space age life. Fine, but at what cost? People want shallow, perfect, you know, the operation bodies and all these kind of things and, and say, oh, that's beautiful. Fine, <laughs> this is where we're going, this is where humans are going. They're inventing, but their system does not support where they're going. Look, it, it hasn't supported where they have been in the last two decades since the 70s, 80s, or even in any of the industrial age since the 1800s, we could say. You have a system of invention, but you don't have a system of it doesn't fit in with ev every existence. It doesn't recycle. It doesn't, it's not biodegradable. You know, you create things, but you don't create what's going to happen to it when it's not being used anymore that is a hundred percent just as important as in as creating it because you need to use it fine you don't have a garbage disposal system you don't have a recycle system never ever think that these people who invent have not thought about that it would be stupid of you to think that you know these people with such intelligence can create something and not have any idea of the consequences of what's going to happen to it as garbage. If they're in, you know, intelligent, you need degrees and engineering and expertise and science and all this stuff. No, no, no. Never think. Never be so stupid and naive and that blind to think that they can't have imagined or thought of what the com uh, consequences of something will be. No research ever in history has been made just by invention. It's they When they do all their research and all the equations and all that, the tests and whatever, every aspect is thought of. So all this pollution stuff that they're saying, oh, we need to now fix up no, no, no. It's all been for money. It's all been for manipulation and control. They knew that it was going to pollute. They knew that it was going to, you know, affect um, ozone and all this stuff. They've known all along what the consequences and... and um, they've known all along. That's not new that we discover, oh, that this is doing this, this is making that happen, and no. All the bad effects of modern human civilization has always been known. They know. They can do all the math and equations and um, the science behind it. They've got it. They know it. If you think that for one second these intelligent genius scientists, inventor minds can do that, but they can't have for one thought think, oh, wait on, what's going to happen? What about this? What about that? They think of every single little detail it's all being thought of so that should change the way you think about all those people that invent and manufacture and all that kind of topic it's all deliberate it's all been known ahead of time okay that's all fine but there are blockages you have blockages as a human race you know controlled by the few in benefit only of the few and everyone else gets crumbs. You get crumbs. What you've got compared to what you could have, should have, is crumbs. Blockages. Okay, so the modern human race has blockages. One massive thing is the rich, the few, 
that only they can be rich. We don't want anyone else to be rich because that's not good for the economy. That's all garbage that they're feeding everyone, that there's never enough money. But then again, when the virus was here, all of a sudden, they were throwing money left, right and center. Where did that come from? But it didn't exist. Uh, the few that control, they're unaccountable. So that's a massive, you know, your current system is one of the biggest blockages in it and it, run, and it breaks down. For the rich to control, they do control. Everything you have, bills, uh, everything you have, the bank, anything got to do with money or wherever you can't go anywhere and not be controlled and manipulated, manipulated by council or the government or the businesses. The businesses move things around and they, they make or break the economy, which should needs to be gotten rid of. The economy will, is not a futuristic thing. That's the other thing. You can all think of these things. I don't have to channel these from the angels all the time, from the source or whoever, wherever it comes from. You can just click and think to yourselves, hey, what's going on? Use your own awareness and your own intelligence. But it's obvious if if everything you do is dependent on what you're buying, or what you're selling or anything, where is that? That's all business and economy. It's all called, comes back to kind of get back down to economy. Economy is the people in control, the big rich and the business. So everything is tied up there. The religions all got to do it all through history. Religions have to do with money and economy. They're never on their own. A lot of corruption happening there. And what do they do? All those um, monasteries, they make wine. What does alcohol do? They sell it to people, which become, many of them become dependent on alcohol. And what does alcohol do? It's a drug. And what do drugs do? Crime is not the biggest um, blockage in, in humanity. Crime is not, isn't an, 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 an war. War is just some stupid game. There are systems that can work, but there's a lot of gaps here and there and, and, and brick walls. or There's a lot of missing links. Seriously, if you are interested in the future or in, or in any of your modern things that you have, start watching Star Trek Voyager the Voyager one and seriously watch it all watch it again I don't know how many times I've watched it it shows how people can work things together or whatever even there there are you know discrepancies but it's the closest thing that we have to an idea of how modern technology can go ahead but they don't show everything but seriously get used to it and try to understand um, at least how things work like the system or how things get along because that's what is a big blockage with humanity not getting along where you're inventing things but you don't support it garbage or oh, that's another blockage your garbage when you solve your garbage versus manufacturing versus modern versus you know need want when you solve that you'll solve the garbage problem you won't have garbage you'll have recyclage Anyway, with uni degrees, these, these scientists, you know, that have think of how forced to think left, right, center, come on. That's very sus, very sus. I've gone to uni. I'm, I was forced to think left, right, and center. There's no way that there are things that we could not have thought of. But they say, okay, we give you a limited time. We want you to do this in that, in this way, with this, with all these limitations and little squares and tick boxes that you have to check. Not whether how it should or what the consequences are. You know, you know the consequences, but and then they grade you. You ticked all the boxes. Yeah, here's your paper. That's the system that's going to move humanity into the modern space age. No, a modern space age is possible, but nothing nowhere near to where people are today. Especially anything got to anyone and anything got to do with economy, currency. Uh, businesses, politics, rich, control, religion, get rid of all that stuff, find a way around them, because they're your blockages. Everything about them is your blockage. <clears throat> so, all right, another system that's a blockage of humans getting into um, a doable modern space age life is the handling of human beings. Where do you want to go with this? We already talked about the drug and drink problem. 
All kinds of drugs are banned. All kinds of healthy plants and medicines are banned in different countries in different ways, except for alcohol. Some places kind of ban alcohol, but, but that's just one. What about all the other ones? That those places that ban alcohol, they don't ban drugs. Like it. Don't follow systems that have holes in them. Religion, all religions have holes in them. All businesses have holes in them. You know, they have things that they neglect. They're negligent, or uh, things that oh no, we don't have time. We can't do. It. We don't have enough people to do this or do that. To do that, do that, do this. There's excuses everywhere. That holes. Gambling. There you go. Why everything you know is cancelled and what? But gambling and the pokey machines, they're not put a hold on or, or closed or limited or this. That's all got to do with money. Alcohol is expensive. Gambling is expensive. Looking after the elderly doesn't cost that much as the alcohol company, uh, industry. Cut back on some of those alcohol industries, we could look after the elderly. See, in some societies, the backwards, the ones that we don't like, we call them communist and backwards and third world societies, the West hates them, but they look after their elderly. <laughs> Do not follow West or East or anything like that. Start think like that. We don't design and put aside something so that when people get older, well, make a decision. Either just let's just say when you can't do this and you can't do that and you can't do that, let's either put them in a resort or end them. End the life. That's it. We've had a nice life or a big life. Or you're going to have to look after them. You're going to have to put systems in place that, um, you know, like in the resort, as I said. You know, then it's not going to have something where they have to pay for it. They can't pay for it because they're not working. And you cannot ever, no one, it's rare that someone can save up enough money so that they're set for life. That's like a lottery. It has to be only rich people. These are human beings. These are children at one stage. Your children today are going to be these older people. Is that how today, how we the West deals with the elderly, is that how you want the children of today, their elderly lives to be dealt with? You seriously have to think of this properly. Anyway, I'm not going to go too much into that. They have their own topics and you know where it's heading. That needs to be fixed. And you can't pick and choose. They all need to be fixed for it to work. Another blockage humanity has with handling of human beings. Corruption. Yeah, you know, corruption gets things done. If it's going to get something done, you know, it, it's kind of okay and not okay. Um, in other places, you have corruption that does not allow corruption, yeah, but the way that they operate is corruptive. It doesn't make sense. That's how the councils in Australia, for example, work. They're all corrupt. You know, if you tick this and this and this box, you're in. Everyone else, doesn't matter how good you are or how valuable you are, you're not in. We don't want you. Oh, these are just the rules. Oh, these are our policies. They're, they're inventions. They're not, they're not real. They're made up stupid rules to protect something. Make their own check boxes of what should be, how it should be. They tick that. And these other important things, they leave them out deliberately and say, oh, no, that's not part of my job description. <laughs> like the job description is everything. No, it's they're invented. They invented to protect themselves so that they don't have to do what they really should be doing. That's corruption. So, in politics, what's politics today? It's all corruption, it's all lies, and it's all manipulation. It's all like, okay, let's make paint a picture, let's make these flowers brighter, and let's make these ones, you know, more defined and more detailed. It, politics can't be politics anymore. It has to completely change. Um, lies, transparency, uh, but it's all manipulation. When you get rid of these things, replace it. it when you think and get rid of all these things, you've got to ask yourself, okay, what's left? What can we do? What should we do? Your answers, your an honestly, your answers will be channeled to you as well. You will start to get all these. It's not... 
it's not always so much that you're going to channel always your own brain will calculate and say well we need to do this and this and that answers will come to you it's not just me you know channeling everything and and you know your source sends me these moments of clarity you know and they stay with me you know but we can all do that in at least in some form we all have brains and we all can think blockages the current systems handling of human beings how do people treat each other with expectational pressure 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 is a big thing just on its own expectations this is a human being killer um, expectations that we have and put on each other um, and you don't even have to be in direct contact with someone to kill someone's beingness someone's energy or flow or um, you know yeah you want to destroy people's energy and flow so you can be bigger and better you know what the bigger and better you get the harder you're going to fall and no one's the same as you so who's going to be there to catch you nobody because you've grown like this you've spread out like that and you've ev everyone is tiny compared to you and little and insignificant so who's going to support you nobody you've got you've got if you grow together all as human beings you will be able to support each other and feed off each other as human beings it cannot be one person here one person there ten people here five people there. it has to be everyone it has to be very communal that's the real communism communal but anyway who knows what those ideas are uh, so pressure yeah oh it's a big thing expectations and pressure in any form they're very okay let's just say you are such and such person you're in this position and you want this and this you have expectations of these people to do this and this and that how to do it and blah 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 you're thinking okay they're all below me they're my workers you know they, they've got a b and c and f to do i don't care about them so long as they do a b c and f you know or maybe you want to kill their energy so you can be bigger and brighter and better but this is the thing if you're limiting someone and inhibiting their growth and keeping them down here as the worker or as you know the lower whatever value to you you're killing your energy this is the thing this is the thing that humans just don't get they don't see themselves as connected they don't see themselves as interactive energies and everything they talk about science and all this electromagnetic energy well then where is that electromagnetic energy in your behaviors you just disregard it there you know, keep it where it serves you in medicine you know to help you and whatever and then f off you know go back to doing what you're doing when you're killing someone's energy and keeping them down you're killing your blockage and energy you're you're you're, you're killing that too you're not actually killing them but you're ruining the flow and and the the linkages that you need to make something yes you'll be successful in whatever way you are but you're not as successful as you deserved or should have been you know as i said everything that we create today it's all crumbs compared to what it should be and that's why there are a lot of problems anywhere you know the problems float through the air we get them we're all we're all our if you want to talk in spiritual sense, all our energies, our souls, are all mingled together. You know, we kind of like 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 mushrooms. You know, how mushroom, a group of mushrooms intergrow. That's what we're like. That's how our souls are like. Our energy is like that. Even bigger, though, it goes out into the universe. Fine. So can you imagine how busy that is. It's like the static on the TV. I can't stress enough when you keep someone low or limited you're limiting yourself you're limiting all of humanity so unneededly so 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 unneededly 
if you, you look at all the riches and the beautiful buildings, you know, expensive whatnot construction, that's this. See that dot? That's that. Put it all together, what Earth has, rather than all of these other lines and amazing, um, you know. Why? Why have people to be lower and suffer and whatnot? Why allow that? It's not like that you have to force people, but if someone wants to grow and be with you, let them stop competing. Start collaborating. Everyone can, you know, put their own two cents worth in. You know, um, I've made a video about this long time ago. If you want economy and money and currency to work, the whole, everyone in the entire company should be profiting rough at equally. If they're all got something to do, you know, m m maybe you can, if you've got it, if I have to talk into bank, because I know some of you are going to, let's say this is the line, this is the profit, you know, it's okay, you know, you can, you can go like this depending on who, what position, but it's not like that, it's like this. It's well below, and, and look at these people that are high above what they should be earning. It's not equal, and it's 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 not according to someone. It's it's neglect, it's negligence, it's abuse. It's actually abuse. It's economical abuse. You know, um, I can take that topic anywhere with this deliberate unfairness. There's deliberate unfairness. Unfairness should just. Unfairness is something created by human beings. It's not a natural thing. You know, yes, there is unfairness. You could see how in nature there are things that aren't fair. But the unfairness that humans create for each other, as I said, you're keeping someone down, inhibiting their expansion, even if they grow bigger than you. They could come back and help you. You're supposed to help each other get big and richer and whatever you want to do I think that's enough on that topic because I could take that anywhere but that does bring me to um, uh, treating each other like family you know no stranger is a stranger If we were all to die right now, we would all see each other, our souls and our energy and our galaxy looking. The way that we look is like, like a nebula, beautiful energy. If we just for one second we could come out and then come back into our earth lives, we would say, what the hell is all that? What were we doing all that for? All that garbage. But you don't stop. You don't think. You don't, you know, for a few minutes and... Be accountable for what you're doing and for what you're not doing. You know, everyone says, oh, it's all about, oh, they did this, they did that. But it's also about the things you didn't do. Treat each other like family. Say hello to each other. You know, start opening these, um, what should I call? Not opening or opening these opportunities, but start... Start being like that with each other. Start being like every stranger you meet is someone that you really love and is close to you in heaven. In that, out of these bodies. These bodies is what's stuffing everything up. We're stuck in these little identities and my shape, your shape, this smell, that look, this height, this whatever. Language, different culture. You've got to get rid of all those things. They're good for fun. Nothing more. But when they start hurting people and, you know, and damaging people's bodies, you know, like tattoos and, you know, you're attaching things to your body, whatever. Anything you should attach to your body is clothes and your lover. That's it. If um, human beings are going to get into a modern space... Oh, yes, that's the other thing I didn't mention. These are your blockages that... You'll never get, you'll never get into that age because of these blockages that I mentioned. And there's many of them, and they're big, and they're complex. How are you going to get rid of even one of them?
You can, but you won't because of the way you want your life to be today. Busy doing your nine to five or whatever your work, I'll just do this for the kids and do it for the, you know, with the wife and whatever, blah, blah, blah. I've got my house or a mortgage. I've got a car, got the pool. Yeah, sit back, have a beer, mate. Bring the buddies over, blah, blah, blah. Watch some sport, play some games. No, you're not in vacation mode. <laughs> no, that's that's what not. And then compare each, come over for dinner, com barbecue, compare each other's. You know, honestly, you're comparing each other's dicks. Oh, look, this is how much I make. This is what I do. This is how important my job is. Or, oh, yeah, I just do this, blah, blah, blah. That's what everyone's doing. You're comparing each other. You're not working together. You're impressing people who have no clue about impression. That's lunacy. Alright. Um, okay. Let's say you get somehow. You've got, you invented all these modern things. You know, yeah, you can invent whatever you want. But you've, not, but you've got to invent what happens to them when they're not being used anymore. How does it affect people? How is it going to affect the earth at what cost at what cost this modern age space age whatever in today's how today the world is and how it has been in the last 200 years yeah you can have a modern space age but at what cost who's going to be around to be part of it so many people that have to die yeah, again, that well, that means that there's going to be other diseases and epidemics. It's going to, you know, get rid of the population here, there, slowly, whatever, fast. Because you can't have a modern age with all these people, all these old people that aren't being looked after. You can't jump into the modern age if you if you don't handle human beings properly. <laughs> Human beings part make your world. Without human beings, you're on your own. Who's going to make all the what? Robots? There you go. Maybe robots. They'll, they'll get rid of the human beings because they don't need all of you. Seriously, they don't need you. They've got robots now that make cars. Go and type on YouTube how they make cars in the car factories. And, and it's all robotic, complex robots and whatnot. It's fast speed. What at what cost? A lot of you will have to die. A lot of people will have to die all over the place. Um, if that and what brings with that, you know, they, of course they're going to fight back because they've got no, they've got no place. They don't fit into these few, few rich people. You know, in every country, every city. They're the only ones that are going to be left, and, and whoever they like, or whoever they can manipulate to do their dirty work for them. Corruption again, politics, manipulation, lies, covering. So what are you doing? Why, what are you all doing? That's what, that, it's, it's at what cost? Because to, to live the way they're going to live, they're going to, they can't, there cannot be this much people. With all of these systems and different systems happening around the world, there's, you can you will not live in a space age. You want electric cars? Oh, you've made them. There's even poor countries have now electric car stations, whatever, to recharge. But they need coal to work the factories. I thought we're getting rid of coal. We want clean energy. Well, clean energy doesn't support steel manufacturing. How are you going to make these structures? These modern and what not in plastics coal is needed for all that kind of stuff coal maybe you got to think of something else other than coal or a different type of existence that is very possible but not favorable people don't these people with all this makeup and you know thousand layers of surgery on their face they don't want to live like a farmer or or natural or whatever they don't like themselves that's why they're changing themselves if they had any even one speck of vision of human being love for anyone in the family, they would not do what they're doing. It's it's not that I've got anything against plastic surgery, you know, if, if someone needs that, 
But if, if that's what your life is, where how you appear is important, that's a massive problem. That's not how you look. You're lying. That's manipulation. That's covering up the real reason why they're doing that. That's the thing. It's not about plastic surgery. It's about these people. There's, there's something wrong there that they're doing these things. And it's not physical. It's spiritual. It's mental. Psychological. That's the problem with that. It's, it's they're putting so much importance of what other people, how other people see them, not how they see them. So, oh yeah, I'm beautiful. Give me money. <laughs> it's what happens behind the scenes in that person's head and soul and their heart is what is stuffed up. So, they don't need most of you. You're in their way. People... For example, like me, like you, people that are doing things and care for stuff, we're in their way. We're in the way of space age and all this stuff. But you can't have that. We can't have this much people and have a space. Everything, things have to be knocked down. You know, if we're trying to fit all these, we, let's just say we have forest that we can't cut anymore because it needs to be there because we don't have any of it left. What nature places, whatever, sacred places, we can't go in there and we're still just building on this one little area that we have for our city. And we have to go to Central Asia, there's so much space there. Um, the city, and we're just building on top. You, you, you can't go next door in the land. It's protected. Where are you going to build these modern cities? You have to knock what's there. And these have to interact. These, these have to intertwine. Um... They have to be sustainable cities where you could poop in your house in one little, I don't know, bucket type of thing and that gets sucked through the, the system that takes it to some cleaning land and then it gets, you know, I don't know, like a factory. You have to, everything has to be like a factory. So it, it deals with waste and it sorts through it. Something has to sort through it. You know, because people were going to probably throw things in there before it goes into nature and biodegrades. But it can't all go in one spot. Imagine everyone's sewage in one spot. No, it has to be spread out. So this has to be thought of properly now. What they're doing now is, for example, I'll use phones. Dumb phones, not smartphones. Um... Why is there so many different models? Why can't they just make one awesome model? And it's got nothing to do with price. But it's got to do with profit. Because they're going to add one dot of different to your mobile phone. So, oh, this is such and such phone model 3A+. plus. Then this add an extra later, you know, make so much money. Then next year, oh, this is model A3 plus minus XZ extra. Every year they're going to, every three months they're going to add something onto it to get the most money out of you. You've got to stop this. You've got to stop buying the latest phone. Get one every ten years or something, you know. Teach them a lesson. Like, But but you people buy these things and you show off. Say, oh, I've got this now. Oh, I've got that now. I've got this now. I'm thinking, no. Think of what you're doing. It has It has big consequences. It's not funny. They're, who is going to be left is just the people with the way that things are, just the people that they can use. Everything else, we're not going to have the elderly, we're not going to have, you know, um, I don't know, people with health issues, health issues, they'll just get rid of them. I'll say, oh, this medicine will make you feel better, bye-bye. Um, things like that are going to be happening if you don't get rid of all these blockages that I've mentioned. And I'm sure there's more. But um, I'm just trying to keep this video short. But yeah, there's not going to be any space age. At what cost? You can only, you know, create all these, you know, gadgets and, and use them and have fun with them. And then throw them away and they end up in the ocean or landfill or whatever. Landfill is not a good idea. So stop making things until you <laughs> know how to recycle them without using more energy and more garbage and, and storage systems. It's just lunacy.
designing and manufacturing and, 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 and economy, it has to go. The way of the future is not going to be economy. It's going to, and, and for these, these things are extravagant things. What's going to happen when something extravagant happens? Riots. You don't have to, I don't have to channel to know this stuff. You don't have to channel to you, you, it's common sense. What's going to happen when these massive changes, are they going to do them one by one? Well then, they're not going to get in the space age. You know, they might do that one by one, so that people don't even notice that it's happening. Oh, that's the best idea. There you go. That's how they might do it. They've got all these options. They can, you know, do it quickly, they can do it one by one. But all right let's go back to those few that manipulate and control everything that's not what life is about are you here to work just for those few people the rich people and the managers and whatnot who are making so much no that's what you've got to get around you get around those things um, and get rid of those few those people for example all right let's make a story a rich person he keeps everything for himself. Let's just say God looking down on you or yourself as, as whoever you are. You're just another speck of energy with the, all the rest of the God dust. Like everybody else that has nothing. No, we need that what you have. People who are, you know, bums on the side who are wasting their life. They always in love because they can't see, because they can see what I'm seeing. They can see, they're not stupid. Bums are not stupid. The people that are homeless or are out there and doing nothing with their life, they see how useless you are. So I'm talking to the rich people, but I'm talking to everyone, because we all are rich in some ways, economically, and, and, and do these kind of things. But what are you doing it for? Uh, uh, why have this, this? Have you been out in the world in nature in lovely sightseeing spots? It's amazing and it's endless. We're all here to help each other. We're not here to make one company richer and bigger and, and monopolize everything. That's not what existence is about. If I had to choose one type of people to talk to it would be the rich people so chill out man relax look at them access money is access look at all the chips of access that you have the money coins dollars whatever. that's not needed you got to step back from that you got to run away from that you got to tone it down or give it out to everyone you got to grow together as as a spiritual society of of because your spirit you can't get away from that you are spirit spirit is what moves you and makes you you know good or bad that's your choice but that's where this information needs to get to if you're a, a person in a high position but as a person in a lower position you need to know these things so that you're not that this is not what you're killing yourself against every day you're all bashing your heads doing this stuff so let's get this information to the richer more in charge type of people because seriously you're nothing more than me or the bum down the street or the guy in the psych ward we are all the same existence but our representations of what we say pretend that we are in these human bodies it's all garbage but it's all effed up that needs to stop that needs to stop I I'm getting feelings and messages now saying to me Adam you actually don't have to explain yourself they know they know they already know they know what they're doing what they're not doing because that's what drives them every day when they go to some rich rooftop party and show up and, and show off they know what they're running away from they just won't face it they know they're running away from life and love and the heart and and and, and spirit and and everyone that's not at that party every they're running away from everyone but why it's like a child running away from something when all you wanted to do is say oh here i brought you some chocolates <laughs> 
All you want to do is give him some chocolates, but he's run away because he didn't know what you had to give him. He thought you were going to give him something else. It's all about misunderstandings. That's a good way, analogy, to explain rich people. They're running away from the issue that's, that's all about survival. It's not about survival anymore. We don't need to survive anymore. We want we can all die and, and go to heaven straight away. But there's so many things that we're not doing and we're missing out opportunities and things like that. We need to get out of our, these systems where only the few benefit a lot. The profit and the benefit should be shared amongst everyone in the organization. Roughly equally, you know, roughly. It doesn't have to be, ex it can be exactly the same. Everyone benefits though. You'd have workers that feel like they're part of um, the company. They'll, they'll care more. They'll work more. Or they'll just work as much as they do. Fine. Some people will work more. Fine. Get, give them a little bit more. Not a lot. Not a little bit more reward. It has to be similar because everyone in a company has a role to play. And without that, the company breaks down. This is what's not acknowledged by businesses. The company breaks down. You could say, okay, one for me, one for you, one for the company. So the company also has money, so if they need to do or expand or this and everything, whatever. These are the systems that we need to work with. We need to, because everyone around you is, let's just say you're a rich person. I keep going to the rich person, because he has access, she, whatever, they, that. You're giving your child money and a business and all this stuff, but no. Your child is nothing to you except for another one of us, your soul family. Give it to everyone else. Give it to someone else. Give, you know, don't just give it to people and make other pe pe people that you don't know better. You know how good it is to do something for someone who means nothing to you. That they feel like, oh my God, you, you've also raised their energy. But they're going to come back to you and repay you that with so much love and support and whatnot. It comes back. It's a good thing. And it lasts. Whereas money doesn't last. Once they've used it, that's it. It's been given to you without love. So this is what we need to fix. Reason, especially with the rich people. Anyone in power or in politics or in control. <clears throat> and with these fees, fees are one of the biggest insults to humanity. To charge someone because they're doing this and that that you don't want and like or whatever you, that's against the law or whatever. Oh, this is or speeding or this or that. That's that's human criminality. That's spiritual criminality. Who is charging you then for all the garbage that you're doing and for all the garbage that for sorry all the good things that you're not doing? We need fees for that. Well, I'm going to send you a bill. It's simple. It's all simple. But you make it hard and complicated and complex and whatnot and how it shouldn't be. Oh, I have to go to work. I'm oh, sorry, I can't do it. I have to go to work now. You don't, you don't need to be there. <laughs> you don't need to be there. And it's not because you're getting payments from the government or anything. You don't need to be there. You need to be where you are now. You need to expand your energy, your love. You need to stop looking in the eyes of everyone else and start looking through your own eyes. See things as they are and, and see the love behind things. But not these things that we mentioned. There is no love behind these blockages and problems. It's just hatred and jealousy and fear the lack or fear of lack or fear of not being bigger and better than the other it's competing and showing off and none of it has any relevance to life um you know everything is an experience but the experiences that you could be having are a million billion times better than what you're having now so i'll leave that there now um the rest what I haven't mentioned can be for you to figure out and um, for you to muzzle around. I don't have to give you all the answers and all and point out all the problems for you. You can do some of that for yourselves because I'm not here to do all your work. I'm here to spike is like 
spark, you know, activate. I'm here to activate you and remove you from the blur that's everywhere. Stop looking through the blur. Get rid of the blur. Come back to yourself, center, and question. And, you know, it's okay to do nothing. It's okay just to sit there and just, okay, let everything flow. And start acknowledging how big and beautiful and magnificent you're, you're a bit of the God collaborative. We're all the God energy and we're all bits of it. It's like, it's like an explosion or a spit. And we are all those little bits of stars and spits. And put them all together makes God, if you want to call the God or the energy of the universe. It's simple as that. And when, the more we think like this and, and, and stop being fearful of things like this and the more we you know, slow down, the more you will open up and, and see and hear these things. The more we will, the more we will work properly. You know, the problems seem to just fall away slowly, one by one. You'd be amazed at some of the beautiful... Yeah, there's a, it's, it's scary. Look, it, is, it can be scary. But stop panicking. Stop reacting. Don't react. Just work from love. And understand that everyone next to you should, should enjoy a portion of what you have. Everyone should, if you've got a thousand dollars, whatever, so share it with people. Share the experiences, share what you get or have or buy or wherever you go. Start interacting with people and opening up. And this is what, when, when you do this, all this garbage, all the systems, oops, flow, fight, fade away and fly away by themselves because you don't think in those restrictions anymore. They're restrictions. Get out of the restrictions and the manipulations and whatever, and the systems. Once you get out of the systems, things will just fall in place. People fall in place. You start to feel more. You see, all your senses, you've got a hundred senses out there that you don't even know, even, not even know about. They start to work because you're not, because you're not playing with pressure anymore. You're not playing with expectation. You're not playing with unfairness. You're not playing with energy killing. You're not kill, killing. <laughs> You're not playing with uh, drug. You're not playing with drink problems. You're not playing with gambling. You're not feeding the rich by putting your money into gambling machines. You're not playing with oh, prove this, prove that. Uh, you're not playing with jealousy. You're not playing with lies, politics, corruption. You're not playing with survival. You're playing with Loving everyone. I struggle with this too. Because I open up. And then I'm getting. Oh no you need to do this. You need to do that. You need to pay this. And you know. Oh this is a fee. We're going to give you a fee. Oh, oh you're, you're. This is against the law. But I'm thinking. Go away. You are no one. Nothing. To tell me. Those things. The only thing you are. Is someone that can love me and live together with me not to give me fees or to to say this or to put me in trouble you're not here to do that we're here to love each other we're here to share everything that we have with each other you know what i do i try is when i'm out and about if there are people and i will look into their eyes and anyone that's willing you know I'll, i engage but a lot of you know, a lot of people are good, a lot of people are closed off, but they go away and do whatever they do. It's rare on occasion that someone will actually join me. You know, someone will, who you can talk to or whatever and will join you. Um, it happens, but it's it's not common. Yeah, that, that's the thing you need. When you go somewhere, you find you're with a friend or whoever, bring someone else with you. Interact and walk, go for walks with the people that you meet there. And that goes with everything else, not just when you go bushwalking or sightseeing or in the shop. Start engaging. Be engageful. Just make starts. And then, you know, the rest will take care of itself. 
Macadamia in the sun.